So these were just the herbs I was getting ready and prepared. Nothing burnt. That's just a very dark herb, y'all. So this is what I'm getting ready. Because I'm going to be braising the chicken in about 30 minutes. So we can turn this off now until I want to heat the pan up again so that the herbs don't burn. All right, so starting my chicken adobo. You can see all those seed flavors on there and posted in this short video will also be like a photo that I took of a lot of the ingredients that are going in here and there'll be some more ingredients added also. I marinated this chicken for about 30 minutes. I usually marinate overnight or at least for two or three hours, but this I'm sure is still going to be quite flavorful. So that's that first step. Alright, so there we have the braised chicken. And I just added some rough cut and what that means is kind of chunky tomatoes because you just want to have some tomato taste in there then over in this pan we got the potatoes going the potatoes are also going to end up going into that pot after i just get a little crisp and brown on them as well and the next thing i'm about to do is add my seasonings and i'll give you a picture of that versus a video in just a few minutes and this i mean my like wet seasonings not the dry ones that we already use all right, so I'm going to try to shoot this one while holding it myself. Bear with. So now we're just getting some of our herbs and our potatoes and the spider. And we're moving them over to our pot. And we're just going to drop them in like so. Hopefully without losing any of them. So you get the point and I'll show you more of this once I, you know, mix it together. Quiet. And here is the finished product of our adobo chicken, our peas, and our rice with a drizzle of the gravy from the chicken. Happy Father's Day, everyone.